Welcome to the Daily Discussion with Better Platform. My name is Ryan, and I'm going to be your host today. Today, we're going to be covering how best to utilize the Better Platform. So be sure to raise your hand if you have a question or drop your questions in the comment section, and we can go over them. Now, whether you're a veteran in our community or you are brand spanking new, today I'm going to go over how to best utilize, hands down, the best research tool in the crypto space, how to find your next 2x, 5x, 10x, and beyond. Now, before we jump into that, I want to share a little a little bit with you about myself. Like I said, my name is Ryan. Uh, my wife and I, we have two daughters, ages seven and five. We live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, so right in the middle of the United States. And I've been a part of the better community since early October. Now, personally, the thing I love most about the better platform is the crowdsourced intelligence aspect of this. I love the fact that people from all over the world with their own perspectives and ideas can come together, come together, collaborate, and, uh, and, and work together to find, like I said, the next 2x, 5x, 10x, and beyond. So go ahead and drop me a comment uh, letting me know what you like most about the Vetter platform, because I just like to hear what other people are saying. So as you're doing that, I'm going to go over some announcements. Now, all these announcements can be found in our main uh, Vetter platform Telegram channel. But first off, last week, we did a, a live AMA for the uh, for VPAD, and uh, that's going to be launching coming up. And uh, so you want to check that out, get plugged in, and, and get the dates for that. Now, February... Um, we, we just finished up February, and uh, the last weekly stats that we had for the week of February 24th through March 2nd, top reported gain was 5,100%. <laughs> and here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. There were 24 projects fully audited and confirmed. Each did minimum 150% gain. So congratulations to uh, to those scouts who are finding great projects. Congratulations to the community members who are capitalizing on the best research tool available, hands down. Also, users reported gains of a 51x, 36x, 29x, 27x, and a 16x. That is a fantastic week of, uh, of winning. And that's what Better is all about. Now, update on marketing. Uh, so one of the things that uh, is is going on massive massive marketing push uh, that started and this is a global a global effort okay so ads are going to be in uh, New York City on Nasdaq and that's going to start on the 14th um, ads are going to be up in London later this month ads on Instagram and Facebook are currently running now they're low budget to test and perfect and make it make it massive and make a massive ROI massive influencer campaign has started it's going to run through the month. And there's $150,000 earmarked just for that alone, just for the month, okay? Merch is going to be coming, which is uh, something really, really exciting. Really excited to see what kind of merch is going to be coming out. There's been great graphics that, that we've had coming out, new branding, and the merch is going to be fantastic. And the whole plan with the merch is, um, you know, continue to ramp up ads throughout the world, but then, you know, use photos and video B-roll and turn that into social media content. So when we get that kind of merch, we can use that stuff in social media content. Uh, Robin is gonna be doing the PR articles um, and she'll be giving some updates uh, as that comes in. And then also, um, you know, we, we also wanted to, to make mention how big of a deal, because you know, we talked about it twice, but how big of a deal this massive influencer campaign is gonna be. Okay, massive, 150,000 earmarked specifically for that, um, that campaign. And uh, yeah, lots of great things are happening in the better community and things are just getting better and better as we go on. So what we want to do today is I want to, like I said, whether you are brand spanking new or uh, you are a veteran in the community, uh, today we're going to go over how to best use the better platform. And I want to show you how simple it is uh, to navigate the platform. I'm going to show you the different areas, but ultimately I do all that to show you how to search for your next 2X, 5X, 10X and beyond. Now, if you're watching this right now and you're viewing viewing, and you don't have Vetter, like you're not, you're not a Vetter holder, not a token holder, uh, be sure to check out Vetter.ai, get more information and see if this is a community you wanna be a part of so you can get access to all the benefits 
that's uh, and, and community benefits that I'm going to share with you right now. So let me close out of this and pull up the better dashboard. So like I said, if you have a question, go ahead and raise your hand or drop your questions in the comments below. And every few minutes, I will check that out. So first off, when you log into the Better platform, you're going to see the Better board. Okay, this is the dashboard. This is kind of like a um, a thirty thousand foot view of everything that's going on um, on the Better platform. So the first thing you're going to see is uh, right here we have Scout, Better, and Voter. This is going to show your rank. So earlier I talked about one of the great things about Better is crowdsource intelligence and people working together. And so a piece of that is gamification. So Vetter is designed in a way where there's progress and you want to make progress and you want to contribute and then you get rewarded and it all works together. So the way it works is a scout will go out and find a project. Okay, so they go out and find the project and they bring it to the Vetter calendar, which we'll look at in just a minute. And so they may just have some basic information that they've gathered, you know, when the project is launching, maybe there's a pre-sale, what's the soft cap, hard cap, just some general information that they have went out and found the project and they brought it to the calendar. Now, the next position is a vetter. This is where someone will step up and they'll do a deeper dive into this project. You know, they want to look at the, the tokenomics. They want to look at the team. They want to see uh, what's, what's the overall feeling in the telegram. They want to get a good feel for the project, okay? So the scout does the early initial groundwork, brings it to the calendar, brings it to the community, and then a vetter comes on board and they go deep dive and they're uncovering and discovering and, and, and connecting with developers and getting as much information as they can and then putting it into the calendar as well. And it allows the user to open up a post, to open up a project. Now, again, I'll show you here in a minute exactly what that looks like. I just want to lay the foundation. But it allows you, the user, to leverage the scout's time and the vetter's time. Okay? So instead of you being in a position to go research all of these things, it allows you to leverage their time, their energy, and it allows you to multiply the potential to multiply your money because of their efforts. Okay? Now the next position is a voter. And voters, they are so critical and crucial, okay? Now, yeah, absolutely it's important that scouts provide information to the calendar. It's absolutely important that vetters vet the projects. However, you'll see there's color-coded rankings, okay? And th this is the vetter that you earn as you are posting projects as a scout. So you actually get paid to contribute, which is a game-changing concept. But you see these rankings, yellow, red, beige, green, purple. Now, the way that scouts accomplish these rankings, same thing with vetters, the way they accomplish these rankings is by people voting. Okay, So anybody can vote, and you're given a certain number of votes per day, and you're actually paid vetter to vote. So you actually get paid to contribute. But as a scout starts ranking up successful projects, and we determine success based on a handful of criteria, they start changing ranks and they'll go from yellow to beige, beige to green, green to purple, and so on. Okay. And that's how that works. So when you see someone that's a, a beige, they may be kind of new or newer. When you see someone that's green, they maybe have a little more experience. They have the, some more successes under their belt. You see someone who's a purple, and based on our judging and scoring criteria, these are people who've submitted quality projects over a period of time that have done well over time okay so that's how that works down and, and just so you know voters are absolutely critical and crucial uh, because voting correctly determines it's it's like the backbone and foundation of everything we do here with the better platform okay the appropriate votes support it and and nurture it and, and keep the uh, the wheels moving the gears moving so to speak uh, without the voters no one would have any ranks and that's the beauty of, of what we have here with this community. Everybody does their part, everybody contributes, and everybody can win. So the next area you're going to see is these are the different tiers, and these are the things that are available at those tiers. Uh, so with just 10,000 that are, you get access uh, to see you know, the ICO info. 
at uh, 25,000 vetter, you're able to see uh, the vetter's reports, okay? So at this tier, tier one, you're not gonna be able to see the vetter's reports. At tier two, you're able to. At tier three, 100,000, you're able to vote, and you're also able to see the color-coded ranking. And then tier five has some bonus features. You'll be able to listen in to the Vetter Trading Club, which this is a group of all-star members of the community, and they they trade uh, a set amount of funds, and uh, you know when they profit, it pours back into the community. So it's just a win-win. And so having tier four gives you all the advantages of the Vetter platform, anything you could possibly want and and need is covered there with with tier four. Now this right here is the Vetter calendar, and we'll go do a deep dive of that in just a minute. And maybe we'll even find us a quality pre-sale to start looking at. Next, you can see team stats over here. And these are contributing members of the, the, uh, the community. These are people who, uh, there, there's different stats that are being recorded. So we have the top tipper. So this person has tipped 88,000 better. Okay. We have a top tip scout. He's received 295, I'm sorry. 29,000, 29,000 better. I almost said 295,000, 29,000 better. Uh, we have the top tip better, which is tipped 68,000. Uh, top paid scout, which is 202,000. Top paid better, 238,000. And top paid voter, looking at 583,000. And again, these are members, active members of the community who are collaborating together. And, and it, it's this group of people that really is... Uh, is is a driving force behind the platform uh people and users who are contributing and using the platform and supporting everybody with the work that they're doing and these are some of the gains that have been happening uh the last handful of weeks and days we got two x's three x's six x's 36 x's 29 x's 27 x's they're at the bottom 51 x so lots of gains uh going on here and right here this is the better video vault and what this is is just a, a library of videos and content that you know maybe you're unsure of how to you know um, do something with your trust wallet or send it over or how to you know import your trust wallet in the metamask or how to connect metamask to the dap this video library goes over all those things and supports you in the process of making sure that you're plugged in and you're knowing how to use the platform what best to do and things like that so without further ado Let's jump into the calendar. You can do that two ways. You can click here or you can click over here, icon on the left, click the calendar. And so right away, you're gonna get a snapshot of these are all the projects that are listed on the calendar. Now, some of these projects have already launched and some of them are in pre-sale and some of them are already in profit and a variety of things, okay? So there's a lot of information here. So what you wanna start doing is you want to start narrowing your focus. Okay, uh, Wanda, great question. What is the, the hot list? Uh, so based on being a purple rank, uh, whenever a, uh, a purple uh, posts a project, um, just, just based on their rank, they're just kind of giving that um, some attention um, on, hey, these are some potential projects to look out for and watch. Doesn't mean that necessarily these are grand slams or home runs, but rather someone has reached the rank of purple because of a successful track record based on our voting criteria and therefore uh, the hot list is basically saying hey this project was posted by a purple you may want to take a look at it so that's how that is determined now wanda if that, if that answered your question uh give me a thumbs up if not uh ask ask again and and i will uh i'll dive back into that okay so on the calendar you, like you said, you're going to see a lot of information. And the beautiful thing about this is uh, you can filter down. Okay, perfect. You're absolutely welcome, Wanda. So you can filter down and get clear on, you know, maybe you only like projects that are on the Binance network, or maybe you only like Ethereum projects. So right here, when you click network, you can see and filter based on what network you want to see. Okay, so here's Binance only. And now these are all Binance projects. So now it's 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 limiting your focus. Okay, it's 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 taking out some of the noise. And now you can say, okay, these are just Binance projects. Let's say that you wanted to look at um, uh, Solana. Let's just see how many how many projects. Okay, so let's say that you're a Solana fan. You're like, hey, I just want to look at Solana projects only. 
Okay, so when you click that, it's just gonna narrow your focus down and you can see, okay, these are some of the projects that have stuff going on on the Solana network. Next up, you can search what, what launch pad it's launching from. Okay, so whether you wanna, it's launching from, you know, BSC pad or DXL, Pink Cell or Unicrypt or something else. Uh, so perhaps you like Pink Cell and you're like, you're all about Pink Cell. So you just wanna look for projects that are on Pink Cell only. You click Pink Cell. And again, it narrows your focus down where it's only showing pre-sales that are launching or pre-sales -pre or fair launches that are through, through Pink Cell. So that's a way to narrow your focus. Next up would be the category. So there's different types of crypto projects and not all crypto projects are the same. So there's gaming, there's launch pads, there's memes, NFTs, rewards, utility, and then unknown. And so like, Perhaps you're really big into meme tokens and you, you're all about the meme, you're all about the next crypto kitty or the next doge, whatever, ninja doge, or you know, who knows? You know, you would select meme, and that's gonna limit your focus down to just showing meme projects. And then you can meme out to your heart's content, finding all these silly projects. And I say silly, and don't you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not knocking meme projects, I just don't understand. <laughs> You know, I when I see a meme project, I just don't understand why 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 someone would be excited about uh, Cyber Shinu <laughs> or you know Gold Shiba or you know I just Floki Steroid. I just I don't know. You know I I don't I don't know why someone would be excited. At the same time though, other people they may not be excited about gaming and they don't understand why someone would be excited about this game called Void or Darklight or Pac-Man Verse or Meta Sims. You know, tower verse. You know, and some people they want to just, you know, they want to get crazy and, and go all crazy on, on games, and this is what they do. And so personally, I, I enjoy scouting and vetting games. It's easy for me to see um, if if the project looks good, um, and it's easy to to tell if 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 they're actually creating something uh, that's consistent. Um, so I enjoy looking at games. So this comes back down to, you know, what is your personal um, strategy? What is your personal um, taste, your flavor, whatever it is that you're looking for? You know, maybe you're all about utility and you just want projects that have real utility, have real use case where people are actually using it. It's not just a pump and dump. It's not just something that's based on hype, but a real use case like Better <laughs> or like VPad that will be coming out. You know, like that's a that's a, that'd be a utility where there's actually a community of users that use a platform every single day. Okay, so that's how um, you know maybe that that's what works for you and how you like that. So the next thing you can search by event type. So let's say that you want to get into a private cell. Okay, so you'd be able to filter these down and see what private cells are potentially happening on these dates. And then you would get to go through the process of investigating and researching the website and Telegram to see if you could get into a private cell. You do the same thing for a pre-cell. And now pre-cell, you might have a higher chance and likelihood of getting into a pre-cell. I know a handful of people got into some pre-cells today. And I know the Better Trading Club, uh, potentially the same thing. And so, you know, you would use this filter to see what upcoming pre-cells are happening. So today is the seventh. So, you know, maybe you want to look at so, you know, my time is 318. So, you know, maybe there's still time to investigate, you know, um, Minions, Metaverse, Cash Lawn, Crypto Buddies, and Wi-Fi Reflect. I'm not saying that these are projects you should look at. I'm not giving you financial advice. I can't give you financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm simply giving you ideas and ways on how you could use this research tool. Okay, so that's how you could use it. Let's say that, uh, you know, maybe today's too late for you, but tomorrow you got all day long. You could literally look at the eighth and start clicking these projects and say, hey, you know what? This one launches at 1 a.m. and this one's at 7 a.m. and this one's at, you know, 7 p.m. And you could map out your day and see if you could get in these uh, pre-sales if they meet your criteria on, you know, projects that you want to invest in. So that's one way you could use the calendar to filter um, what you're looking for. And the next thing you could do, you could search by rank. Okay, so like I said, when you are um, when you are uh, one of the upper ranks, uh, I believe it's tier four. 
I'm sorry, three. Let me uh, let me verify before I say that. Yep, tier three. When you hold a hundred thousand better or more, you get the color coded ranks, and so you can search based on rank. So let's say that you you're like, you know what? I just I just want to search, you know, purple only. And so now it shows all the purples on the calendar. Okay, so it can limit your focus, and you mix a strategy like this: search in purples only, maybe only on Binance and you're looking for pre-sales, and you're looking for memes, okay? So a minute ago, there were literally hundreds of projects on the calendar for March, but now that we're only looking at Binance, only looking at meme tokens, only looking for a pre-sale and purple only, it's now limited your focus, which again, better is about saving time and energy, okay? So now you can look at Floki steroid. You're like, okay, great. This is you know, five days away. I can take a look at this project. I can start digging deep and say, okay, this is what the scout posted. We can start going into this, see if it's a good fit for you, see if it matches and aligns with your personal strategy. And the great thing about this is there's plenty of days for you to follow this project and look into it and see why or why not it may be a good fit for you. Now, just right off the bat, right off the bat, there's a potential this project could be worth looking into. Now, I didn't set this up, like this isn't staged by any means. I just happened to click the filters and this is what showed up. But I do know that Mr. LDN 100X is a fantastic scout and better, and he does a great job. And so he picks good projects. Now, I'm not saying that this project is gonna be one of those. I'm not saying it is or it isn't. I'm just simply saying that he has a track record of picking great projects, and we also have a great vetter who's vetted it. And again, I'm not saying this project is a, hand, a slam dunk or a grand slam. I'm simply saying, based on the filters that we used and based on the track record of these two individuals, perhaps this is a project we could look into. So why don't we just dive into it and we'll share some thoughts. And if, uh, if, if LDN is on the line and they want to hop on and share some thoughts on this project, by all means, go ahead and in crypto line, uh, you do the same as well. You guys are definitely open, uh, welcome to share your, your thoughts on the project um, as, uh, as, as I'm going through that. And we'll just, we'll, we can all kind of do it together and, and look over and, and see what we see, see what we like, see what we don't like. Hello, I am on the line. I'm hey, what's actually, up, brother? How are you? I'm good. I'm actually Good. just pulling it up on my end uh, so that I can take a look for you as well. Um, so yeah, this is Floki Steroid and uh, this is basically a, um, it's like an NFT project. Um, but I say that to not just say that it's, you know, a true NFT project, because as we know, with true NFT projects, you know, they just simply stick to, you know, discords, um, you know, from what we've learned, um, you know, when we got some information in regards to really assessing, you know, what a true NFT project is. But uh, for the for the most part, you know, um, this website, you know, does focus, you know, a lot or this project does focus a lot, you know, on the on the NFTs. Um, now, I did, you know, have a chance to speak with uh, Danny, uh, who is the owner of the project, um, you know, really cool guy, um, you know, and one of the interesting things, you know, about this project is that they're, um, they're going to be at the Dubai Crypto Expo. Um, oh, nice. and, which was what, what was interesting about that is that they hadn't even launched. They haven't even had, you know, their pre-sale yet. You know, so, um, so yeah, that was a pretty notable thing, you know, in regards to uh, this particular project. But if you check out their website, I mean, for the most part, what you see is you know, what you see is just, you know, NFTs, you know, but um, I guess when I looked at this, you know, I'm knowing that they had a telegram, um, you know, and also looking at their, um, at their at their roadmap, um, it looks like you know they're tokenizing this in some way, um, you know. So, but I do see that they've got you know uh, their crazy NFTs, you know, in their step two of their um, you know of their roadmap, um, and then they're going to be you know, they're going to be going for Crypto.com as far as you know trying to get some additional exposure on this project. Um, they've got some marketing, you know, lined up, 
AMAs. Uh, they've already done some AMAs. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's kind of a different type of project for me, you know, when I looked at it. Um, one, I, I guess what really drew me into this project was the fact that I actually like the artwork um, on, on Floki. I'd never seen a buffed um, Floki. So I, I thought that was pretty interesting. So um, that's really kind of what drew me in, you know, right away. And yeah. um, even though it's a meme, um, they don't really have, you know, a ton of utility, you know, honestly, when it comes to this. But, you know, I think when it comes to memes, it's really more about the community. If you've got a hype community behind it, um, that tends to, you know, move the token and the project along. Um, and I also think that it was a good signal, you know, that uh, for them to be connected, you know, with the crypto expo in Dubai so early. Um, I tend to, you know, like to have a bit more details, you know, when it comes to when a project is going to, you know, do marketing. Um, I tend to want to know exactly, you know, what are you going to be doing as far as marketing? And some projects are more willing to go ahead and, you know, talk to you, you know, in regards to that than others. So, um, but yeah, they haven't. Um, and it's been a little bit, you know, since I've looked at this project, I think my last update was like, you know, um, actually about six days ago before the last month said anything, you know, on this, but, but yeah, um, you know, there is a lot of hype, you know, behind the projects. Um, they do, they have had some AMAs. Um, I believe that they have had an audit um, on this, you know, as well. Um, let me see here. So I wanted to go back and take a look, but yeah, it was three inner five. And I believe that as far as the audit was concerned, it was deemed to be a low risk um, project. You know, and as I've said, anytime you look at, you know, um, audits, you can't just look at an audit and say, you know, whether you're, even if you're getting a top tier audit, you know, like a certain, you can't just use that as your number one, you know, signal that, you know, hey, oh, the project's going to do well. Um, you know, and even, even uh, as you're talking about, you know, be right, being ranked a purple and picking projects. Um, I think we can, you know, all relate as purple, you know, scouts, um, you know, reaching the top uh, in terms of that ranking. I mean, we still sometimes, you know, you think you got a good project and it doesn't turn out to be so good, you know, so, um, you know, it, it's all we can do is, you know, take the, the knowledge and experience that we have and take a look at different signals, you know, when it comes to projects and, you know, um, use that to guide our decisions and choices as far as, you know, the projects that we are scouting and putting on the calendar. I do, I think one of the helpful things for me, you know, on this project was actually being able to speak, you know, with the owner. The owner um, is doxxed. So on the website, um, I believe that you just got some information in regards to Danny, but um, I don't believe the last time I was here that I still saw any doxing of him on the website per se. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's on the bottom now. <laughs> so yeah. it's not even a real big picture, you know. <laughs> um, so so sometimes that can sometimes that can also kind of concern me, you know, when you got like these tiny pictures, you know, somebody I'm like, if you're gonna dox, you know what I mean, like dox, so we can actually see what you look like. Yeah. Um, he's got a bit of a bigger picture, you know, in the telegram, but it's the same one, but he has spoken with me. So um so yeah, I mean, between that and the expo, um, you know, getting the audit done, those were just some good signals, you know, for me as far as the project is concerned. And I do like some of the NFTs they've got going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I do believe that they're looking to add some utility, you know, to this. But for right now, I mean, it's mainly around NFTs, but it's not really a true NFT project, if that makes sense. That does. That does. Well, awesome, brother. Dan, thank you so much for taking some time out and sharing your, your thoughts on this. You know, um, I think one of the things you said was was super important. Um, and I want to I want to repeat that because um, I think some people may not may not have caught this. What what I'm what I'm seeing in, in the crypto space is it's it's more so less about you thinking that you found the greatest project ever and it's going to do fantastic because of all these things and more about finding a consistent process and executing day after day because we can find one that looks legit it's going to do great but at the end of the day we have no control over that stuff 
And the only thing we have to control over is our own process, our own money management and following our process. That's it. You know, so for example, if, if someone constantly changes their money management, meaning, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go in a half B and B in this pre-sale and then it doesn't do good. And then the next pre-sale, they only go in, you know, 0.1 and then it does great. But then the next pre-sale, they go back to whatever, like they're just flip-flopping all over the place. And like over time, it's hard to gauge the results because, you know, just, just, just statistically speaking, you know, if, if you're not putting the same money in on a consistent basis, some's going to win, some's going to lose. But like, if it's, if it's, if that variable is always different, um, it, it's hard to find a, 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 a consistent strategy to, to win with. And, and, and the same thing with, with, with other projects, there, there's some red flags that come up and, you know, you may look at it and say, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. Um, and the next time you say, well, okay, I'll give it a try this time. And the next time you say, well, I'm not going to do it this time. It's like, how do you know what is or isn't going to work if you're constantly flip-flopping back and forth? So, you know, Dan, he, he, he you know, hit it around the head, just basically, you know, all lights could be green and it looks like the best project ever. But at the end of the day, we don't have control over that. You don't have control over that. And what you do have control over is your money management and your strategy for finding projects that align with, you know, your vision on, on how you see things um, and, and staying consistent with that over a period of time is, I, I believe, what, what will help you see uh, consistent, um, consistent results, whether they're, whether they're positive results or negative results, at least it's consistent. And then at that point, you can make little tweaks. Uh, but one of the worst things, in my opinion, is constantly changing back and forth and doing, you know, over risking and over leveraging. And, you know, it's, it's, it's about the process and not about the, that one hit wonder. Um, well, it, you know, it's, it's about consistency over time. Let me also add something else, um, you know, to this, that one of the biggest indicators for me on a project is communication. Um, we've seen projects, you know, where you ask questions and then they don't want to answer questions. That's a signal. You know, it's not a very good one. Um, I think that the more that a project is willing to communicate, the more that a project is willing to get out there and do AMAs, I think those things are extremely important. The more engagement they have with their community, those are very important. You know, transparency very important, you know, um, I mean, even this project, I think they had like an article that was in, oh, um, I don't know if it was a crypto.com article or a Coinbase article, it might even been CMC. Um, I'm trying to go back to what I had written down, you know, on this project, but, but yeah, there were, you know, like I said, there were signals, you know, for me, you know, in regards to this project, and just like you were saying, um, you know, there is a consistent process, you know, for me. I mean, now there might be little things that I'll change up, you know, in terms of that process, you know, but they're, they're subtle things, you know, they're not like huge things, um, you know, so we, anything that, for me, anything that helps you to um, connect, you know, with this project being transparent um, and really just communicating well, those to me are just big signals um, with the project. And there hasn't been a project that I've, that, that I've done well with where, that was not the case. Um, typically, the, the the projects that are that do well. I mean, in my own experience, and again, I want to stress that again, it's 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 my own experience has been that typically when you got projects that communicate very very well, uh, that's probably a good signal. Um, you know, in the positive category uh, for that project in terms of the analysis that's being completed. And I've said it before that, you know, you work in terms of signals, either it's moving, you're getting more signals that kind of move you towards the positive, or you're getting more signals that move you towards the negative. But with the caveat that it's not a guarantee, you can right. have, just as you said, a lot of green lights, and then all of a sudden the project doesn't do anything. And then you can see a project that doesn't really give you a lot of signals at all. I mean, you know, um, Kurt and I have talked, we've talked about, you know, Battle Inu, that he got that 51X on. And that project, you know, I had seen early, it did not, there weren't enough signals there for me to say, okay, I'm going to proceed with this project. But I'm using that as an example because clearly that project did, it did do well. You know, so um, you just don't know. You know, all you can do is, 
take what you're looking at in terms of the analysis that you do and either move, it moves you towards, you know, wanting to proceed with it or moves you away from it. But again, it's never a guarantee because at the end of the day, you just don't know what a project's going to do. Right, right. I mean, even, you know, there, there have been projects that, you know, a group of us liked and uh, and wanted to pursue and ended up not being that great. And there are projects that we passed on that ended up being great. And it's one of those things where, you know, we can't control the, the outcome of the project, uh, but we can control the process um, that, uh, that we, that we use when, when looking at projects. So, so thank you for sharing that brother. Yeah. And, and by the way, I know that right now, um, their chat for Floki steroid is closed, but they are having an AMA, um, right now, I believe, um, in a different, I think it was supposed to take place on a different channel. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, does anybody have any, uh, any questions? Uh, we were just going over, um, if you're just now tuning in, um, I went to the calendar and I just started clicking some buttons. We clicked Binance, we clicked meme, pre-sell, purple only, and we saw this fun little gem, Floki Steroid. Just so happened that Mr. Dan, Mr. LDN100X was on the line. He shared some thoughts on what he liked about this project and some of the things that um, were green lights for him. And we were just discussing that. And let's see, I see a hand up. Uh, yes, Vernon, let me unmute you, Vernon. Yeah, thanks. Vernon, how, yes. how are you, brother? I'm I'm doing fine, thank you. Good. Um just a just a, a quick question as um I'm looking forward to the uh the, 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 the launch uh coming up for um Veta. Yes. I'm not I'm not I'm not familiar with this with whether it is a strategy or the formula or how that is done. But on the day of the um on the day of that um that pre-sale. I, I think it's the same day um, the, the the launch is. I think I'm not sure. Uh, what is the what is the, the the how what's the process? What is the strategy? How is that generally from your experience um, uh, happens on on the day of of the of the sale? Um, so I can I can only I can only share based on um, what what would normally happen during a presale. Right. Um, yeah. So I can't necessarily speculate on what exactly is going to happen um, with uh, with um, with our upcoming launch, um, but let's let's go over you know what normally happens. So let's look at uh, let's look at Pink Cell, um, and uh, let's see if we can find. Let me just clear this out real quick. Uh, Scooby. Okay, so this is a project that uh, a group of us were looking into, and this is also another project that um, the Mr. LDN was uh, what had, had brought to the table. Uh, so let's go check out their Telegram. Remember, you have to uh, tap to verify to get into this one. So there's like a portal. Oh, is there another? That's, oh, thank you, Dan. That's 1729. Yeah, so go ahead and just go to tap to verify on your right. Oh, okay. Never mind. You, yeah, you I, yeah, I was in. I, for, I forgot that uh, okay, that, that was that. I was already in their other one. Or uh, sorry, already in, already gone through the process. So um, so for, for a pre-sale, uh, the way the process would work is, you know, this morning, their pre-sale happened at, um, let's just say it was 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, so there was a countdown window here. And um, as soon as 10 o'clock rolled over um, for this project, if you were whitelisted, you got to partake in the in the uh, in the pre-sale. And as soon as 10 o'clock rolled over, you were able to click and um, enter into the pre-sale. And so some projects, you know, they may have a, um, you know, so let's see what the soft cap was. Uh, so they had a soft cap of 75 BNB, hard cap of 150. So, you know, let's say that there was three hours to fill that hard cap. And let's say that the project didn't fill the hard cap, then it would open up to the public. So anybody could participate. You just connect your wallet, you contribute how much you want to contribute. They had a minimum buy of 0.2, maximum buy of two. And then you click the button that says buy. And then now you are in, in that pre-sale. And um, then when the launch happens, you can claim your tokens. And, and then, you know, now you're, you're good to go. Um, now that that's how pre-sales work. 
Um, I don't know if your, your question was in general, Vernon, about pre-sales in general or specifically related to the upcoming launch for, with, with VPAD, um, but the, the process is going to be something similar to that. I don't know exactly step by step, but it's going to be the process is going to be similar to that. Does that answer your question, Vernon? Yes, it it it, it sort of does. Um, in, in in the sense that um, I under, I understand what you what you mentioned on that day in question. Um, of course, one would have already have had the uh, the, the contract address for that particular um, token. Um, to be able to put it in, 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 in again with pancake swap, I know how that goes. You know, you, you want to buy in pancake swap, you 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 know put in the, the contract, you, you bring up the particular coin or, or token, um, and what you know, and you and 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 you you buy it. But with with the the, the pre-sale, I was not sure whether it's it's the same. What's the, the basic difference? How do I get or when will when I'm and I for example the the V pad sale? Um, when are we going to get or see or know what the contract is? Uh, I think as as soon as um, I mean when the contract is is released, uh, the, they'll they'll announce it. Um, you know, I, I heard that there's a high likelihood that pink cell is going to be used for the launch. Not not a guarantee. This was on the AMA last week. Um, but uh, so you know when that when that process takes place, um, you know typically the token address is listed here um, uh, on the uh, on the pink cell. Uh, so. Again, I don't know if it's going to be exactly like that for for our launch. Most likely, that's that's how it's going to be. Uh, so when the pre-sale link is available, you'll be able to see the token address, uh, but you won't be able to buy in Pancake until um, until it actually launches and liquidity's been added, um, and there'll be an announcement uh, for that. Uh, you know, across across you know communication, whether that's Telegram or you know Discord or wherever, or not wherever, but everywhere, everywhere it's uh, it'll be announced that. Uh, the uh, the launch has happened and, and people can actually buy from Pancake at that point. Let me let me butt in here before you you, you change the screen because I saw a screen like this sometime back and it was a little confusing to me. So that pre-sale address is the, the, the that address there on the pre-sale address is the address for the pre-sale. Yes. But when but when the the the, the pre-sale has uh, has ended and the thing is now open to the public uh, on Pancake. It becomes the token address at the bottom. Yeah, so uh, I don't know the exact nuances and technicality side behind this, but you're right. Okay. The pre-sale, okay. the pre-sale address is this. This is not the token address. Okay? Right. This, is, this has nothing to do with the token. This is just the pre-sale. Right. This right here is what you would put in the pancake. Like if you want right. to buy Scooby Inu tomorrow after launch, this is a this is the the token address you'd put into pancake. Uh, this right. is a token address that you would actually put in your assets to, you know, to show that you hold Scooby Inu. Um, this, this is the contract address. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. But, but with, but with the, the, the up with, with um, any um, pre-sale um, before it goes live for the public on pub on, on pancake swap, this is what I would use to buy this address. The top of the, the pre-sale address is what I would use to purchase it. Yes, for for their okay. specific for their specific presale, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, that. yeah. So okay. any of these, it, you know, if we go over here and look at Launchpad list, and again, uh, just so we're on the same page, I'm not making re any recommendations um, for these, but here's one that's live right now. So let's take a look at it. We view view pool right here. Okay, so this right here is the presale address, which is has nothing to nothing directly to do with the contract address, the token address. Okay. Okay. So, hi, hyper AVAX, you know, um, let's say that if, if you wanted to take part in this, you know, you could contribute um, minimum of 0.1, okay, and maximum of three, okay, and then when you click that, it's going to select, you're going to click buy, it's going to get confirmation from MetaMask, and then you're going to see it, you know, a little thing that says, you know, you have X amount of tokens here, um, and then launch day. When it actually launches, when they're ready to go, um, there'll be a claim button that you click that, that claims it. And now it's added those tokens to your wallet. And then you would take the token address and, and add it to your MetaMask. So those tokens show up. And this is also uh, to what you're saying. This is also 
um, what you would put in pancake swap if you wanted to buy it directly from pancake. Okay. Yeah. Does, does that answer your questions? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, perfect. Well, I'm glad I could answer your questions. Thanks for being here. Uh, no, thanks. I appreciate that. You're absolutely welcome. Okay. Let's see. Wanda. Let's see. Wanda said when you pass on a project like Binu that ends up doing well, what helps you decide if you want to jump on, on the dip? Well, so this is this this goes back to your own strategy, Wanda. Are you someone who are you someone who wants to watch a pre-sell and wait for a dip to get in? And if so, you got to ask yourself, why do you want to get in on the dip? So there's a handful of ways to do this stuff. So for example, uh, we could use Scooby as a as an example because Scooby has some, um, this is a great example for Scooby, okay? So Wanda, this is a perfect example for you, okay? Let's say that you missed the pre-sell for Scooby Inu, but you've been following it and you like it. You like the project. You think that you would like playing the game. You think that there's high upside potential for this project. And you're like, you know what? I missed the pre-sell. There, there could be buying pressure at launch. And so what you could do is you could wait for a dip and then buy on PancakeSwap because you believe in the project. You know, so some people, they got in the pre-sale because they're looking to turn that 0.2 BNB or 2 BNB into, you know, 0.4 or, or 4 or more. And some people are going to exit, which is going to, which has the potential to create a dip which then creates space for other people who want to buy the dip because they believe in the long-term legitimacy of the project. You know, there were a handful of things with this project. I think there was like uh, some staking maybe. I think there was, um, there was, I think, earning potential through the game. So there could be a reason why someone would want to hold it long-term. And so that's a strategy that you could do. Um, another strategy that people do, they do um, dollar cost averaging, meaning, Let's say that you had, uh, you know, one BNB to invest. And as part of your money management, you just made a commitment that you're going to buy every dip at point one. So basically you're saying every time there's a dip, you're going to buy point one, which gives you 10 opportunities to get in all at different prices. And that could be a strategy. Someone else could say, you know what? I believe in Scooby Unu. I know it's going to the moon. And you could buy at launch and you could buckle up because you expect you got a ride on the rocket ship and you're holding on for dear life. And that's your strategy. Uh, it could also be that, you know, if you're really into games and you know that games can go through a certain process of hype and excitement at launch, and then it kind of fizzles out. And maybe your strategy is you wait a whole week. You wait for all the, the excitement and hype to die down. And now you've got to enter back again at a pre-sale price or maybe even lower because other people sold or they were impatient or what have you. Um, so it just comes down to your personal strategy on how, on your own money management, on your own strategy for entering and exiting uh, these positions. Wanda, does that answer your question? Does, it, does that make sense? And I'll get to Leslie's question. Okay, perfect. I'm, I'm glad that was helpful, Wanda. Uh, so Leslie says, is investing in an NFT pre-sell the same process as utility pre-sell? So Leslie, based on my understanding of your question, the answer would be no. Um, well, I guess it depends on exactly what you're asking. So, so my initial thought was it's different because you're not you're not holding tokens, you're holding the NFT, um, and there's there's a handful of variables with your NFT. Um, but I, I suppose, uh, well, Leslie, could you ask that question again in a, in a different way? I don't know exactly what you're asking. I mean, so 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 let's say that that, that Vetter is going to have an NFT. I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but let's say that Vetter's having an NFT, and um, they're going to do a pre-sale from their website, and so we would buy it, and then now we we own it, and then Mint Day comes along, and other people are buying the pre-sale 
or I'm sorry, other people are buying the NFT off of like OpenSea or they're buying it off of, I guess it could also come from the website. So I guess from that sense, um, from that sense, I guess they're the same. You're, you're getting, I guess the, the idea of a pre-sale is you're getting at a discounted rate. Um, so to, to your point, Leslie, the example could be taken further. Uh, a private sell and pre-sell and launch are, are all, all very similar on, on both sides. So yeah, for NFT and for a token, they're, they're similar. It's a similar idea, similar process. Um, you are getting the item, a token or NFT at a discounted price or before the main public. And you're either airdrop those or you're, you, you claim them somehow. And then um, when the public has access to it, at that point, you can now sell. Uh, so yeah, they, they're, they're, they're similar. Uh, but my, my thought, my thought at first was I was, I was reading into utility and, and, and all stuff, but okay, good. Answered your question. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have any other uh, questions? Uh, feel free to drop it in the comments or raise your hand. And hey Ryan, uh, we got, yes, we're going to, just because we've got that other call coming up, we're going to probably have to uh, sh shut this down in about five minutes. Yeah, not a problem. All right, buddy. All right, man. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, Arlene, maybe a silly question. Um, I can get to VetterDAP through Token Pocket App, but how do I hop on VetterDAP from my PC and connect my wallet with Vetter? Okay, not, not a silly question. Great question. Um, I am not familiar with Token Pocket. Um, so let me write this down so I can make sure that I get you the right answer. Um, Arlene, are you in our main Telegram group? Or I'm um, sorry, Arlene, are you in our uh, support Telegram group? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Um, could, you, could you ask that question in our support Telegram group? And um, we can support you there? Yes, I will. Perfect, perfect. Because that, that, that way other Token Pocket users would be able to see the question as well and, um, and, and see the answer as well. Oh, well, that's what I was saying. I can do it in Token Pocket. I don't know how to do it on my PC. Yes. So um, is, is there a way to import Token Pocket? To, to, are you familiar with MetaMask? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, do you know if you can import your Token Pocket to MetaMask? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Well, hey, we're making progress already. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is great. You don't need to go to the other Telegram. We may be able to figure it out right here. So, so if, if, you can, if you can import your Token Pocket to uh, if you can import your token pocket to, um, to, uh, to MetaMask, all you would do is you, you would have the MetaMask plugin on your, um, on your computer. Do you see my screen? Yes, I do. Okay. So I have the MetaMask plugin here. And so my wallet is connected, uh, to, to the DAP. Okay. So when I log out here, You know, so so better platform dot app is 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 the uh, is the page to log in. Better platform. Let me put in the, the chat for you. Yeah, because that's what I don't know. I don't know how to. I mean, sometimes you guys speak way above my head. I'm a newbie, um, but I see I see that in the chat. I okay. Don't know. Yeah. Once I get in MetaMask and I connect my wallet, everything is good. Now uh -huh. I don't know how to get to the Vetter app. Okay. Okay. I tell you, I tell you what, um, we're going to get to get off the call here in a minute, but um, I will, uh, if, if you can send me a message on, uh, on Telegram, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's my username right there in the mm -hmm. chat there if you can send me a message uh we can work together and figure it out okay 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 but but just just uh in in between now and then so the the process would be if you go to vetterplatform.app you're going to see the screen that's on on my screen right now okay mm -hmm. in the upper right when you click connect it's going to connect your wallet 
and now you have access to the platform. Yes, I I believe you. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> you, you just you, you, yeah. Up once I'm on MetaMask, I don't know how to hit that ex the right extension to get to where you are right now in order to do the connect. Okay, we will we will figure it out. Okay, um, shoot me a message, and um and we'll connect and get it figured out. Okay. All right, I'll do that now. Thank you. Okay, sounds good. You're very welcome. Okay, and the, the last question uh, from, from Leslie, how do you use a calendar to select the 2X, 3X, 10X you mentioned to start a call? So Leslie, here is the great part about the calendar. Uh, this is our calendar. However, it's not a crystal ball, meaning we don't know which project is gonna 2X, 5X, 10X or more. So what we wanna do is we wanna stack probabilities. Okay, so going back to your personal trading strategy, whether you like meme coins or utility coins or uh, you want you know, pre-sales, we want to stack probabilities. They give us the greatest chance, the greatest possible chance for us to have a win. Okay, so that starts with the filtering, filtering in different projects that we like and that fits our uh, risk tolerance and things like that. The next would be researching the project and looking at cues like Dan and I talked about. Is there, um, have there been AMAs? Is a team doxxed? Is there activity in the Telegram group? Are people excited about the project? These types of things can be uh, positives on stacking probabilities. And at the end of the day, we don't know which project is going to 2x, 3x, or 10x. But this tool helps you narrow your focus to potentially find the ones that have that potential. Okay. Does that make sense? And as, as you're responding, um, okay, perfect. And uh, Mauricio, uh, go ahead and, uh, and unmute. And this will be the last question and then we get to, to hop off for the day, okay? So uh, Mauricio, uh, go ahead and unmute. I think, I think you're unmuted. Can you? Uh, can yes, you I can hear you now. Okay, so, perfect, perfect. How are uh, you, brother? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. All right, so it's not actually a question, just a comment. Uh, uh -huh. That was, uh, you know, great training, you know, I learned a lot about the calendar, you know, like, because I've been messing with it, you know, but now I am more aware of what's going on. Yeah. So, thank you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it, brother. That was hey, you're, great you're training. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate it. And I, I just, I want to acknowledge everybody who, who contributed and asked questions because that's the best part of this. You know, some, sometimes, um, you know, sometimes you may feel like I don't want to ask this question. Or I don't want to say anything, but like, if you have a question, it's likely someone else does too. And, uh, so I just want to acknowledge those who asked the question and, uh, Mauricio, thank you for, for your contribution as well, saying that this was helpful. You know, it's always great for us to get feedback on, you know, what the community likes and what the community wants to see. And it sounds like, uh, there were a lot of gold nuggets dropped today and some people got some, some great resources and great ideas. So Mauricio, thank you for that comment. I'm glad you're here, brother. And uh, yeah. hopefully, you know, this will give you some ideas on how to better navigate and, and you know, filter out some of these some of these projects and do a little bit deeper research. Yeah, you know, and uh, kind of jealous of you, man, that you say that you've been uh, in this project since uh, October. Yes. Me too. Uh -huh. But it sounds like you have been more involved than I have, you know, and like I'm kind of, you know, still kind of learning. So, but uh, sure. I'm, I'm learning a lot. So, but I really appreciate you guys' time, you know, and uh, all the time that you put in, all the knowledge that you impart, in, you know. So, I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Hey, brother, I'm, I'm glad that you've been here from the beginning as well, man. And hey, don't, don't worry about where people are, you know, because we're all at different parts of this process. What matters is we keep showing up every day, okay? So keep showing up, keep asking questions, and we'll all make it. And uh, with that, we're going to end the call. But I just want to end like my mentor always told me. He said, life can be short. So for those that you care and love, let them know you care and love them. I just want to tell you guys, I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you for being a part of this community. We're doing some amazing things in the community, and I look forward to growing and working with you all. My name is Ryan. Bye for now. All right, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. We'll see you guys Thanks. next time. <clears throat>